Hello friends, welcome to the Vaivavas of Anatomy. In this video we will discuss about the pancreas. In the previous video we have discussed about a duodenum. Here we have keep these two specimen together because in the viva most of the time these two specimen are asked uh, together. Now the pancreas, first introduction, the pancreas is a softer lobulated gland. It consists of a both exocrine as well as endocrine part. Now it is located somewhat in the abdomen posteriorly occupying the epigastrium and the left hypochondria region. Now we see its shape. The shape of the pancreas is a retorted fast shape or you can say it is a J shape. Now its size, its length is approximately 12 to 15 centimeter long. Its breadth is 3 to 4 centimeter long and its thickness is 1.5 to centimeter. Now the right end of the pancreas which is known as a head lies within the C shape concavity of a duodenum. Now we discuss the parts of a pancreas for which we have uh, we will take a separate specimen of a pancreas. Right? Okay. So here we discuss the all the parts of a pancreas starting from the right to left this part are head, neck, body and tail. First we discuss the head of a pancreas. I had already told you the head of the pancreas that is the right end of the pancreas lies within the concavity of a C-shaped duodenum. Now the head is large uh, enlarged flattened uh, right part of a pancreas it is flattened entero posteriorly so it is having two surface anterior surface posterior surface having three border superior border inferior border and right lateral border and important one one process which is known as a uncinate process now the uncinate process is a triangular process extending left from the lower part of a head and it is going upwards and the medially behind the superior mesenteric vessels. Here uh, the vessel you can see is a superior mesenteric vein and artery. So the uncinate process is going behind it. So you can say the uncinate process lies toward the posterior plane than the rest of a pancreas. Now we discuss the second part is in neck. Neck is only 2.5 centimeter long. It is having two border that is a superior border, inferior border and the two surface anterior surface and the posterior surface. Now the important of the neck is behind the neck the superior mesenteric vein and here this is a splenic vein. These two vein combined behind they will join behind the neck of the pancreas to form the portal vein. This is the opening of the portal vein and here these two vein join together. This is a superior mesenteric vein and the splenic vein join to form the portal vein. So this is about a neck. Now we see the body. The body extends from the neck of the pancreas up to the tail. The body is a triangular on the cross section. So it is having three border and three surface. Three borders are anterior border. This one is anterior border, the superior border and inferior border. Right? Anterior border, superior border and inferior border. Now in the body Along the superior border, you can see one conical projection. This projection is known as a tuber omentel. And the three surfaces are anterior surface, which lies more toward the superiorly, or you can say entero superior. Anterior surface, inferior surface. This is the inferior surface, and the last is a posterior surface. 
the posterior surface is closely related with the splenic vessel you can see this large vein dark structure this is the splenic vein and this tortuous uh, artery is a splenic artery which is related uh, to the posterior surface of the body right now we discuss the last part of a pancreas that is the tail of the pancreas the tail of the brain pancreas is a freely mobile and it lies between the two layer of a lino-renal ligament it is an important content of a lino-renal ligament which we already discussed in the split and the, this tail lies somewhat at a higher level than the head of a pancreas at the level of a lower border of a T12 body. We discuss about the pancreatic duct. The pancreas contain the main pancreatic duct and one accessory pancreatic duct. The main pancreatic duct is formed by the union of a small pancreatic duct. The small pancreatic duct opens into the main duct at the right angle and form the herring bond pattern. And this herring bond pattern is like a skeleton of the face which, which here you can see in the image. The main pancreatic duct is going from the left to right side towards the uh, from the uh, tail towards the head and it unites with the hepatic duct or a bile duct to form a common pancreatic hepatic duct which open into the summit of a major duodenal papilla in the second part of the duodenum. And the accessory pancreatic duct is a small duct which open into the minor duodenal papilla. So this is about the duct of a pancreas. Now its blood supply. The, it is supplied mainly by the pancreatic branch of a splenic artery. And splenic artery is a branch of a ciliac trunk. The right part is also supplied by the superior and the inferior pancreatic duodenal artery. Now, the last part, its function is production of a uh, digestive juice, pancreatic juice, and the hormones like a insulin. This is all about pancreas. Thank you. If you like our video, click on the like button and share with your friends. To get the regular updates on anatomy video by Viva Voice of Anatomy, subscribe to our channel and click on the bell icon.